I'm a micro traditional clogs. I'm based in North West Wales at Cricketh. I'm currently the only full time professional hand clog maker that's left in the country, which considering when I started 30 something years ago, when there was about 123, 125 clog makers, is I suppose a fairly sad indictment of how industry has gone in the UK. A lot of the old chaps in the clog trade would make working clogs. We haven't got that much heavy industry left, so we've lost the demand for working clogs, and they've gone with it. Whether the craft carries on is, is always a puzzle in the back of my mind. Because if you lumped everyone together, England, Wales and Scotland, you can still only just about scrape 17. And I am the last one making completely by hand for a full-time living. The last one, the last clog maker, that's a scary thought. There's not an NVQ in clog making. You know, it's unrealistic, it's a hands-on trade. There's not been a formal apprenticeship since, well, certainly since the mid-20s in, in this trade in clog making. If I'm the last clog maker and I'm making a lot of dancing clogs that go certainly within Wales, but I also export to the States, Australia, all over, wherever as dancing happens, what are the dancers going to do when there's no clogs, when there's no clog makers? How is Welsh dance going to continue? If my trade goes, it's a knock-on effect, it's dominoes, it takes other things with it as well, other parts of the culture and heritage.